Are you tired of feeling like you're not making any progress towards your big goals? Do you want to boost your motivation and confidence? Then you're in the right place. Welcome back to my channel where we celebrate the small wins in life. In this video, I'm going to show you why celebrating small wins is essential to achieving your big goals and how it can really help you to stay motivated, boost your confidence and keep you on track. Let's challenge ourselves to record the small victories instead of hyper focusing on negatives. When you celebrate small wins, you can unlock your full potential. So let's get into it. Today, we are going to talk about why it's important to celebrate small wins, examples of small wins, and how to celebrate those small wins. So that when we think about the big picture, the big picture goals that we're always trying to focus on, I mean, New Year's is coming up and we always want to plan out our goals for the entire year, but sometimes it's really hard to stay on track with those big goals. And if we are focusing on little wins every step of the way, then we can see that we're really making progress and get to those big goals in life and live our best. Why is it important to celebrate these small wins? It really makes significant challenges seem way less overwhelming. Your brain is just like a muscle and it really needs to be nourished into thinking the right way. So we want to train our brain. It improves productivity and performance. Celebrating small wins creates positive, a positive feedback loop that fuels your momentum and energy. I can think of so many times when we might've put like one house under contract and I wanted to ride that momentum, that wave, and just put more and more houses under contract so that we could get closer to reaching our big goals. Not only that, but breaking down goals into smaller and more manageable ones helps us to track and make sure that we are measuring them in the right way. We also will learn from our mistakes and failure and use those opportunities to improve because failure is so important when it comes to achieving big things. I am going to say it again, but it also boosts your self-confidence. Celebrating small wins can help give us this real sense of accomplishment and increase our confidence in our abilities. You are again riding that wave. It can be a great motivation to keep pursuing our dreams and goals. Celebrating small wins can change negative self-talk into positive self-talk and it can help us to believe in our abilities. All right, let's talk about some examples of small wins. So small wins are important to celebrate because they help us to continue to boost that motivation and confidence and keep us focused and know that we're tracking our progress and staying on the right track. So a few examples of some small wins that we can celebrate no matter what your goals are. So if you had goals of possibly trying to learn more about something and you take the time to finish a book, you might not be a person who is a reader who loves to read all the time. It is really something for me that I have come to enjoy over the years, but finishing a book is an example of a small win. Or if you are just trying to get into some more fitness goals or losing weight and you decide to do a new workout program, at first, it might be something that is very difficult for you to handle. I have been there, trust me. But if you finish a workout or say even make it halfway through the workout, or you get to a point where you don't have to do the modified versions of it anymore, then that is a small goal that you can celebrate. What about getting out of bed on time? If you are a person who wants to try to boost your productivity, might I suggest you watch this video right here, being a morning person, but being a morning person is something that can really help you boost your productivity. So getting out of bed on time could be a small goal that you can start to celebrate. Making your bed in the morning so that you can be more organized and feel more put together. I am one of those people that is a little obsessed, a little OCD with making my bed in the morning because I feel like I have ended that period of time which was going to sleep and I'm ready to start a new day. So it is a, another good thing that you should be doing if you're trying to just organize your life and just get together and just be the best version of yourself. Substituting a baked good possibly for something healthy like a piece of fruit. If you are a person that is ready to make those types of goals, then might I suggest just substituting out those things in your refrigerator, getting out all of the things that are a bad 
influence on your health goals get rid of them and start substituting some better things to put into your body but that is a small goal that you definitely can celebrate one of the main reasons why i really wanted to make this video today is because I am very close to 100 subscribers on YouTube. I know that's not a big deal, but guess what? It is a small win towards a bigger goal because then I know that I am able to help and impact more and more people in the world. I know it sounds cliche, but that is my ultimate goal. So I'm celebrating that small win today. So cheers to me. So how do we celebrate these small wins? Well, celebrating these small wins does not have to be a complicated, grandiose thing. You can just treat yourself to a favorite meal, take a day off, or just give yourself a pat on the back. As long as you are acknowledging the small win and taking the time to really appreciate your hard work. You need to feel it so you can feel that momentum and you can get excited about doing this over and over again because each time you are celebrating these small wins, it's a little step in the right direction to achieving your big goal. Something that I would love you to do also is think about a small win that you have had today or this week and leave it in the comment below. I would love to see that. I'd love to celebrate you for your small wins. So let's do that. All right, what else could we do? We could have some kind of event, have a party with our friends to celebrate the little progress that you've made, and then you're going to really feel good about it and continue to bring happiness into that process of getting to the big goal. You could take a personal day, take a day off of work or school to do something that you love to do and enjoy and relax. I love to go down the road to the beach and celebrate the beauty that earth has to offer. Taking a small walk in nature and just, just breathing it in, like breathe in that small win that you have taken in, that small step that you have taken towards your progress to becoming the best version of yourself because you are completing your goals. You could surprise yourself with a gift. Sometimes I like to do this. Order something for yourself on Amazon, something that you've always been wanting to get. It doesn't have to be big, but something that you're just treating yourself for. I mean, this is something that I bring back our mentality of when we were children. Like we were so excited when we got little things done. I have a charts downstairs for my girls for every time they do something small the right way. And every time they earn stickers or they fill up their chart, we get to take a little trip to the toy store or some kind of experience, like go to the aquarium or something like that. Like get that in your mind, that fun experience, make it fun celebrating these small wins. You know, you could also just go out and have a glass of wine or a cocktail, um, go out for a glass of wine or a date night to just celebrate and, you know, cheers. Cheers your husband, cheers your friend because you did something to take a step in the right direction for reaching one of your big goals. Remember, celebrating small wins is a very important part of achieving your goals. So take a moment to celebrate your small wins every day. Might I suggest having a journal where you write down something that went well that day. You know, I do prayers with my children at night and something that I always ask them at the end of every prayer is, can you tell me something that went well for you today? It is celebrating a small win. That's what we're doing. We're just thinking and reflecting on our day and thinking about, you know what? There was something that went really well today and I would love for more of that to happen tomorrow. And then we're on our way to achieving our best life. Remember that these small goals, these small wins that we are celebrating are going to put us in the right direction to also building our confidence. And if that is something that you are really struggling with as well, make sure that you check out these two videos that I have on achieving your best self through really working on your self-confidence. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you guys staying to the end of the video. And you know what? Let's celebrate something today. Let's talk about it and celebrate all of the amazing things that we're doing so that we're getting to a point where we are living our best life. This is really a journey that I am excited to take with you guys as we continue to celebrate small wins and get better and just continually work on being the best version of ourselves. Make sure that you stay tuned for the next one and I will see you next time.